If you are interested in receiving a free Bible, make sure you contact me. God bless you. We have to understand that the Bible is very poetic. So the more that you begin to understand metaphors and assemblies, you are going to understand the Bible much more. And we have to take the Bible literally as well. So let's go to Psalms 62, chapter 62, verse 7. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. So the Bible is very, very poetic. Very. And the more that you understand poetry, I guess, the more that you are going to understand the Bible. And I don't think I am any good <laughs> at poetry. <laughs> All right. <laughs> And God is my salvation and my glory, the rock of my strength and my refuge is in God. So what does salvation mean? Let's look it up. So preservation or deliverance from harm, ruin, or loss. So number two is deliverance from sin and its consequences. Believed by Christians to be brought about by faith in Christ. So in God is our salvation, meaning that we can't be saved without God. <laughs> Let's look up the word glory. Glory. High renown or honor won by notable achievements. So renown, fame, prestige, honor. So in God is our honor. So outside of God, there is no honor. Okay, let's look up the word refuge. A condition of being safe or sheltered from pursuit, danger, or trouble. So a place of protection, I guess you can say. A condition of being safe or sheltered from pursuit, yes. A place of protection. Okay. In God is my salvation, which is in Him, in Jesus Christ, we can only be saved ultimately through God the Father really that gave us a chance <laughs> so in God is my salvation so we can only be saved by God and my glory so in God is our salvation and glory so honor the rock of my strength so when I see the rock what comes to my mind is foundation like like god is like god should be our solid foundation so in god is my salvation and my glory the rock so the foundation of my strength so in him we have our salvation and honor and also in him comes our strength and my refuge so this is saying in god we receive salvation honor strength and refuge amazing <laughs> Let me say this too. So what this is saying and what is coming to me now, we should depend solely on God. But the thing about it, for many of us, we depend on other sources, as in people. This one person 
told me, let me not say that. <laughs> we should only depend on God. When you place your trust in people, people have the ability to fail you, to not do as you expect. When it comes to God, God is much dependable than people. The problem with many people, you rather trust in other sources but in God. And that is your issue there. You may see your money as your God. You may see your mother or father as your God. You may see your job as your God. You may see all these other things as your God, but those things can fail you. What if your mother or father dies? What if you lose your job? What if you get really, really sick? What if you lose all your friends? What if you lose all sources of income? So what are you going to do then? Kill yourself? Crazy. Make sure that your foundation is God. Make sure that you are depending solely on God because everything that you have belongs to God. It sure does. So don't trust in the resource, but trust in the source. Through the source, we get our resources. <laughs> so why in the world would you trust in the resource more than the source? I pray that this makes sense. <laughs> God bless you. Make sure you share this and subscribe. God bless you.